By 10 a.m. on Friday, multitudes of revelers were flocking to Nile Discover Resort in Jinja District for the Nyege Nyege Culture Festival. Uniformed and plain clothed security operatives from the police and other security agencies manned the entries and surveilled the venue. They also observed strict parking guidelines for vehicles. And we want people to know that when they're here, they're going to be safe. Hundreds of business people came here to cash in, selling items ranging from food, crafts to accommodation. A stall goes for one million shilling per day for the four-day festival. There was apprehension earlier when State Minister for Ethics, Father Simon Lukodo, tried to block the festival on ethical grounds. It is hard finding accommodation in Jinja as most of the facilities have been booked. And uh, it's, it's, it's basically, um, it's a representation of what life should be. It should be fun, it should be awesome, it should be delicious, it should be, you know, yeah, it, so basically it's life, it should be eaten. For those who love fun in water, the experience on the Nile is worth the while. Tourists here for the first time feel they can't have enough of Uganda. It's this kind of cruise that you have on a daily when you celebrate nature. It's not just a festival of just music and celebrating culture. It actually involves a lot of tourism. Everyone here is really good at dancing. So yeah, definitely having a good time. It's fun getting to meet people from all over the country and dancing to really cool music. After government cleared the event, the police signed a memorandum of understanding with the festival organizers Talent Africa. They agreed that they would not be sex orgies and homosexual license, the use of drugs and possessions. Talent Africa CEO Ali Alibai told NTV that they were ensuring that the regulations are followed to the later. Government should embrace um, the power of music and entertainment uh, to t the tourism industry, I think. The Nyagenyege festival began on Thursday. The night has been as busy as the day or even busier. Music plays continuously interspersed with the culture dances fused with poems and rhymes. This year's festival has five stages with each DJ playing different music themes all through as local and international artists perform at intervals. The festival will close on Sunday.